Um, it sounds like the neighbors came up to the property to return some items that belonged to the homeowner there and the homeowner began to shoot at them. Um, according to the neighbors who this impacted, it sounds like bullets were quite close. So they immediately called 911 and we responded. At one point we had over 30 law enforcement individuals on scene here. That included Jackson County Sheriff's Office deputies, the SWAT team from Jackson County Sheriff's Office, tro OSP troopers, and officers from Phoenix and Talent. Three months or so has gone by and this man has not had any help. His parents are worried about him. He's been on prayer lists. Um, we need to come together as a community to help people with mental illnesses like this and not let it get to the point where there's gunfire going on like this. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we need to help people like this. And the neighbors that have been, been going through the difficulty with this man has been months and they're going through extreme stress dealing with this situation and loud music and, and aggression and things like this and they've had a very difficult time and there's no reason for it when this could have been stopped before any bullets were ever fired uh, months ago and there's been numerous notifications and I just want to say again the sheriff's department has done everything they can to, to help this situation they just have not been able to do anything to help this man. Deputies were able to, and the SWAT team brought up some of its equipment in the Bearcat Dawson on scene. We were able to peacefully, without any instance or issues, arrest and put in, pull into custody, put into custody John Ware. He's 41 years old. He's an individual who lives up here in the 6700 block of Coleman Creek. Um, Coleman Creek Road, just above Griffin Creek Road, was closed for about two hours while all this happened and no through traffic was allowed. Um, at this point, there have been no injuries, and the individual responsible is in custody. That I'm guilty of anything. God, thank you. If, if you were thorough before this, this would have already been taken care of. <laughs> Even though he's shooting, it wasn't his intent because I know the situation. It, what he was trying to do is be taken out because he's hopeless. He's crying for help and he's not getting the help. The fact that someone's shooting a gun, we ought to look past that and look, this could have been solved before a gunshot was ever solved, fired. If they would have came in and give this man some support, some help to begin with, uh, when we called a number of times and a number of neighbors have called over the time and no one helped this man and that's why gunshots are fired. This home is an address, is a location that we have received multiple phone calls regarding. Um, many of the calls we've received are issues with noise or things that aren't necessarily a violation or a crime of any sort. So on some of these calls that neighbors have called in regarding Mr. Ware, um, that some of the situations have been ones where there wasn't anything law enforcement could do regarding those calls because you're dealing with county ordinances and not city ordinances which are different. Um, and so there have been calls and there have been contact though with this individual. The variety of those calls I don't have because I'm not at my computer so we'll look into those and put those in the actual press release for you guys on some of the more criminal calls that we have had to deal with. Um, but it sounds like according to people who know this individual and family. Um, we have had contact with Mr. Ware's parents and that this is an individual who is suffering some, from some mental health issues and needs some help and assistance. And so it's, um, it's always sad when you have situations like this happen. It's sad for all of us as Americans to have to deal with this type of thing and see this type of thing in our country in this great nation. And it's not necessary.